All right, we're going to talk about the topic of domain for uh, Lesson 64. And before we actually uh, talk about what we mean by uh, the domain, um, let's, let's review some things that we're going to use with this topic. Now, what I have shown on the screen are uh, some inequalities and some negated inequalities. On the, on the left column, I have inequalities, and on the right column, I have the negated inequalities. So in the top, um, let's take a look at the uh, top left one, which is less than. Now, less than means the same thing as uh, this negated inequality of not greater than or equal to. So, for example, uh, how I'm going to give an example how we would use less than. Um, X less than 2. Now, this would represent numbers that are less than 2. So, I might have... Um, one, I might have zero. I could have some fractions in there. For example, uh, um, 0 0.5 is less than 2. Those would be some examples. Now, this means exactly the same thing as numbers not greater than or equal to 2. So if I asked you for a number that's not greater than or equal to 2, you might say 1, you might say 0, you might say that uh, 0 0.5 that I said before. So these mean exactly the same thing. And um, so on the, the second row, um, numbers that, if, if say I had numbers greater than 2, x is greater than 2. So numbers greater than 2, maybe 3, maybe 4, maybe 5, maybe 7.4, uh, okay, would be numbers greater than 2. Now the negation for that would be numbers not less than or equal to 2. So if I ask you for a number that's not less than or equal to 2, you might say 3, you might say 4, you might say that 7.4 that I mentioned before. And we can give the similar examples for the rest of these. So um, x, is, x is less than or equal to 3 would mean exactly the same thing as numbers not greater than 3. Or um, greater than or equal to, x is greater than or equal to a negative 2 would mean exactly the same thing as numbers not less than a negative 2. So that's what we've had before and uh, you've got some pretty good notes with this. Now as I continue here with the review, um, up to this point, for example, if I asked you to graph uh, numbers not less than or equal to a negative 1. Now the first thing you'd do is you'd use your notes or you'd, you'd uh, reason this out and say, well, let's see, what's it mean for numbers not less than or equal to 2? Well, that means exactly the same thing as numbers greater than a negative 1. So if I ask you to graph that now, numbers greater than or show on a graph numbers greater than a negative 1, you'd say, let's see, there's not a line underneath the greater than. So it's going to be an open circle on a negative 1. And to show numbers greater than a negative 1, I would shade it to the right. So this graph shows numbers greater than a negative 1, which would be 0, which would be 1. Also, since this is a solid line here, this would represent fractions. So I might have 0 0.5. You know, the point uh, 0 0.5 right there is, is in that shaded region. So I have fractions, I have decimals in there. Okay, since it's a solid arrow, it, in, it includes all those numbers. So real numbers, remember, represents every number. So if I, if I asked you to describe the real numbers, really it's any number you can think of. Um, real numbers are any number. It's decimals, it's fractions, it's, uh, it's whole numbers, it's integers. Now integers are these numbers negative dot dot dot, negative two, negative one, zero, one, two, dot dot dot. So these represent um, any number except a fraction or a decimal. So I could have a negative five, that's an integer. I could have ten, that, that's an integer. But I cannot have fractions or decimals. Those would not be integers. All right, now where this is going here is example one. Now in example one, they want us to graph numbers greater than two. All right, so, so so far that looks pretty familiar, right? And let's get into this new part of the topic. And that's a D here. And they're saying that the domain, the domain is equal to the real number. So what they're saying is that when I graph, when I graph these numbers greater than 2, I can only use 
real numbers to show that on the graph. Now remember what real numbers are. They're fractions, they're decimals, they're any number you can think of. So let's represent numbers greater than 2. Well, since there's not a equal underneath that greater than, or a line underneath that greater than, it's going to be an open circle. And since they say I can only use the real numbers, then that's going to be every number I can think of greater than 2 which in, would include fractions, it include decimals, any number. So in other words, this would be my graph of numbers greater than 2. So some examples that are shown on that graph, what's in that shaded region in the blue that I, that I uh, graph there? Well, that could be a 2.5, that could be a 3, that could be a 3.75, that could be 4.5. Okay, it represents all those because they wanted us to use um, real numbers as the domain. Now continuing this, example two, they want us to graph numbers not greater than or equal to three. Now using our notes, I'm going to switch that to the regular inequality. What's not greater than or equal mean? Um, it means less than. Okay, so not greater than or equal to means the same thing as less than. So they want us to show numbers on this graph less than 3, but the domain this time, and again, domain means what numbers can I use. The domain this time is only the integers. So I can only show on the graph integers. I don't want to have anything that's representing a fraction or a decimal or anything like that. So I'm going to have numbers less than 3. All right, what are the integers less than 3? Now, here's where it gets a little bit uh, tricky on that. Um, I'm not, I cannot use 3 itself, all right? So I only want to show numbers that are less than 3 that are integers. So that would be a 2, because 2 is an integer less than 3. That would be a 1. That would be a 0. That would be a negative 1. That would be a negative 2, a negative 3, and so on. What I've shown here in blue are integers less than 3. And why didn't I use a solid arrow to show this? Because if I used a solid arrow to show this, that would represent real numbers. And here they want the domain, the numbers we use to be integers. Now you might be saying, well, why didn't you put an open circle on 3? Because this means um, an open circle, right? Well, I don't need the open circle because... I've shown that uh, the solid uh, filled in dots are representing the integers less than 3. All right, let's take a look at example 3. Now they want us to graph numbers greater than or equal to a negative 5. So, so show numbers greater than or equal to a negative 5, but the only numbers I can use or the only numbers that I can graph are positive integers. So the domain is the positive integer. So what are positive... What are the positive integers greater than or equal to a negative 5? First of all, could I put a solid, solid circle on a negative 5? No, because a negative 5 isn't a positive integer. What are the positive integers greater than or equal to a negative 5? Well, the integers, the positive integer, remember the, the integers themselves would be a negative 5, negative 4, negative 3, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and they keep on going, but... I can only use the positive integers. Now remember, zero is neither negative or positive. So my positive integers greater than or equal to a negative 5 would be a 1, it'd be a 2, it'd be a 3, it'd be a 4, it'd be a 5, and it'd keep on going. And that's it. I've shown the positive integers greater than or equal to a negative 5. So one, maybe one way to remember this before I continue with one more example is to do this. If they're asking for real numbers, if the do domain is real numbers, you're going to use a solid arrow one way or the other. Okay? If they're asking for integers, if they say the domain is integers, you're just going to use dots. And this would be a good thing for you to write down in your notes. Okay, now let's just do one more uh, uh, quick one here. Um, if I had, if I, they wanted us to graph numbers less than or equal to 4. But they want us, the domain is the negative integers. 
So I'll abbreviate this up. They just want us to use the negative integers. So what are negative integers less than or equal to 4? So I'm going to put 4 here, and I'll put 3. And I'll make this graph uh, kind of quick like this. Now, what are now integers, remember, if the domain are the integers, we're going to use dots. Remember, integers are numbers that are not fractions or decimals. So what are the negative integers less than or equal to a negative 4? Now, remember, 0 is neither negative or positive. So negative 1 is less than or equal to 4. That's a negative integer. A negative 2 is less than or equal to 4. That's a negative integer. A negative 3 and my arrow right here means it keeps on going to the left. So I've graphed the numbers less than or equal to 4 where the domain are the negative integers. So the topic here has been called uh, the domain, and we've shown how we would graph these.